And you could also still program, you know, PLCs in structured text. But the thing is, the industry just generally doesn't want to program PLCs in structured text. So therefore, it's probably not going to really accept, right? Like a lot of customers that if you were to try to give them, or manufacturers, if you were trying to give them a structured text programmed system, they would, you know, essentially reject the system and say, no, we can't accept a system that's written in structured text because, you know, a lot of technicians uh, don't know how to program in structured text. So that would be the challenge. And also, I don't really understand on an executional standpoint, like how Alan Bradley doesn't have like the ability and, and all the PLCs that have the ability to do structured text and ladder logic. I don't understand how there's not a basically a view option, meaning view in structured text, view in ladder logic, and it automatically just converts the code to do the exact same thing in whatever language you want to see it in, right? Maybe it's function block diagramming. And so you can, you know, basically just click view and they have like their software has the ability to adapt the code on the back end to be able to view it in the way you want to view it. So if they do something like that, then that will definitely open up the door. And this is where I say the developers really, really need it when it comes to developing these types of systems. Because if you simply had the ability to just convert regular structure text to ladder logic, boom, no problem, done. I think that the AI is gonna be very, very close to being able to execute that code that, or be able to write that code.